Well, well, look who couldn't resist clicking on this one. You guys are as predictable as ever. Meet Elizabeth, a middle-aged woman working as a teacher in a junior high school. Contrary to expectations, she's far from responsible and caring. In fact, Elizabeth is known for her carelessness, rudeness, and even cursing at students. Often under the influence of alcohol or drugs, her true aim in life is to marry a wealthy man and drain him of his fortune. She's a gold digger, plain and simple. Currently, Elizabeth is dating the son of an incredibly wealthy businessman, which seems like a success for her. Filled with arrogance, she abruptly quits her teaching job, believing she no longer needs it. However, upon returning home, she faces a rude awakening. Her boyfriend and his mother are waiting for her, and he drops the bone shell. He no longer wants to marry her. He's finally realized that Elizabeth only cares about his money, having stolen money from him, his office, and even his mother's room to buy expensive stuff for herself. Despite her attempts to explain, he angrily leaves, shattering her dreams of wealth and leaving her jobless. Desperate for work, Elizabeth searches for months, but her lack of talent leads to constant rejections. Ultimately, she swallows her pride and returns to her old employer, the junior high school. On her first day, she encounters her old nemesis, Amy Squirrel, and their exchange is filled with insults. The hatred between them is palpable. In the classroom, the students are thrilled to have Elizabeth back, but she couldn't care less. She neglects to teach and indulges in her breakfast, even turning on the television for them to watch a movie, stand and deliver, under the guise of improving their grades. She covers her face with a jacket and dozes off in class. During lunch break, Elizabeth reconciles with Lynn, her only friend at the school and a fellow teacher. They discuss their lives, and Elizabeth reveals her plan to undergo breast enhancement surgery, hoping it will make her more attractive to wealthy men. Meanwhile, we meet Russell, the gym teacher, who has long harbored a crush on Elizabeth. Unfortunately for him, his lack of wealth has never caught her attention. Meet Scott, a handsome substitute teacher. Learning of his wealth, Elizabeth immediately sets her sights on him. She orchestrates a meeting and skillfully learns that he is single, having recently broken up with his girlfriend. When she sees a picture of his ex-girlfriend with a large chest, Elizabeth becomes jealous and assumes Scott prefers women with such attributes. This fuels her determination to undergo breast enhancement surgery. In the following scene, Elizabeth makes her way to a clinic, ready to fill out the form for her desired surgery. However, her excitement quickly fades when she discovers the staggering price tag of $9,000. With less than $50 in her account, she realizes she'll have to put her plans on hold for now. That night, Elizabeth desperately reaches out to friends and acquaintances, hoping for donations towards her surgery. Unfortunately, her true nature is known to all, and they hang up on her one by one. Left with no other options, she decides to contact her ex-boyfriend, demanding $9,000 as compensation for their broken engagement. Yet even he refuses, leaving her frustrated and disheartened. The next morning in class, as Elizabeth idles away the time, a student approaches her, offering to wash her car. The student explains that the entire class is participating in the annual car wash event, which promises to be fun. Initially dismissive, Elizabeth's interest is piqued when she learns that they made $6,000 the previous year. She inquires about the teacher leading the event and is dismayed to discover it's none other than her nemesis, Amy. Despite the setback, Elizabeth refuses to miss out on this golden opportunity. Determined, she heads to the principal's office, using her seductive charm to sway him. Once he's aroused, she manipulates him into appointing her as the head of the car wash event, replacing Amy. Delighted, the principal agrees without hesitation. The following morning, Elizabeth arrives at the event wearing a revealing dress, capturing attention. She enthusiastically washes cars, playfully splashing water on herself, shocking the women but intriguing the men. Even a policeman gets so captivated by her beauty that he crashes his car. Elizabeth seizes the moment, demanding extra money from the men, claiming it's urgently needed for the students. Surprisingly, her plan succeeds, and by the end of the day, she manages to raise around $10,000. Half of it goes to the school, while she secretly keeps the other half. Meanwhile, Amy becomes aware of Elizabeth's actions and confronts the principal, interrupting him in the toilet. The intrusion angers the principal. But Amy accuses Elizabeth of embezzling school funds and demands punishment. However, the principal insists on solid evidence before taking any action. The next day is the annual parents-teacher meeting, and many parents gather in Elizabeth's class, angered by her lack of proper teaching. They confront her, demanding an explanation for her reliance on movies instead of lessons. Unapologetically, she retorts, Don't teach me how to do my work. As the meeting concludes, a concerned father discreetly hands Elizabeth $200 asking for extra attention for his child. This sparks an idea in Elizabeth's cunning mind. She meets with each parent individually, accepting money under the promise of providing personalized attention to their children. Now, Elizabeth is only $2,000 away from her coveted breast enhancement surgery, 
As time goes by, Elizabeth continues her irresponsible behavior, showing no regard for her students. She rejects the advances of the gym instructor, Russell, but develops a friendship with him. On the other hand, Amy has set her sights on the wealthy and handsome Scott, and the two grow closer, fueling Elizabeth's jealousy. One day, Elizabeth learns from her best friend, Lynn, about a teacher competition at the school. The teacher whose students achieve the highest grades in the upcoming state test will win a cash prize of $5,000. Excited by this opportunity, Elizabeth decides it's time to start teaching her students seriously. From the next day onward, she arrives early to class, surprising everyone by instructing them to open their books. Elizabeth assigns homework and daily assignments, forbidding them from talking to each other. This rigorous routine continues for several days, resulting in significant improvement from the students. However, their progress is still insufficient to pass the upcoming state test, which is only a few days away. Determined to win the $5,000 prize, Elizabeth takes matters into her own hands. That night, she dresses seductively and approaches a state professor named Carl, who is responsible for preparing and distributing the test questions. Her plan succeeds as Carl becomes attracted to her and invites her to his place. Seizing the opportunity, Elizabeth spikes his drink with sleeping pills, causing him to pass out. She steals the test questions from him and distributes them to her students. The following week, the test results are announced, and all of Elizabeth's students pass with exceptional grades, securing her victory. She claims the $5,000 cash prize, finally having enough money to undergo the surgery. Without wasting any time, she heads to the clinic and schedules an appointment. However, her spirits are crushed the next day, when she discovers that Scott is now dating Amy, and they appear to be deeply in love. Elizabeth is furious that her plans are once again thwarted by her nemesis, but she refuses to give up. The following week, the school organizes a tour for the students, with Scott and Amy appointed as the organizers. Upon learning this, Elizabeth devises a cunning plan. She injects an apple with a chemical and places it on Amy's desk, aware of her fondness for the fruit. As anticipated, Amy takes a bite without questioning its origin. By evening, her face is covered in rashes and allergies. Concerned about potential spreading, the principal appoints Elizabeth to replace Amy on the tour. In the next scene, Elizabeth seizes the opportunity and grows closer to Scott. Later that night, they engage in a secret intimate encounter. Meanwhile, a jealous Amy begins searching for evidence to have Elizabeth expelled from the school. She sneaks into Elizabeth's classroom and attempts to go through her desk. But most of the drawers are locked. Amy decides to switch desks with Elizabeth and persuades a janitor to forcibly open the drawers. To her delight, Amy discovers the stolen question papers Elizabeth had taken from Carl. Subsequently, Amy goes to the principal's office and reveals everything about Elizabeth's cheating scheme to help her students achieve good grades. This time, the principal believes Amy's accusations, but explains that he can only fire Elizabeth unless Carl confesses to the story. On the same day, Amy confronts Carl in his office, blackmailing him into confessing everything. She threatens to expose his misdeeds publicly if he refuses. Reluctantly, Carl agrees to Amy's demands, Elsewhere, during the school tour, Elizabeth enjoys her time with the students. She even assists the bully boy in gaining popularity by providing him with her undergarments. Russell witnesses this act of kindness and becomes highly impressed. He compliments Elizabeth's generosity, and she returns the gesture by praising his honesty and good looks. However, their romantic conversation is abruptly interrupted when Amy arrives and taunts Elizabeth, claiming that she will soon be arrested. Upon hearing this, Elizabeth realizes that the stolen test papers have been discovered, prompting her to devise her own plan. As soon as she arrives home, Elizabeth pays her roommate to deliver a package to Carl. Upon opening the package, Carl discovers several nude photos of himself that Elizabeth had taken when he was unconscious. Elizabeth uses this as leverage to manipulate Carl into making a false confession. In return, she promises to keep his compromising photos a secret. This puts Carl in a difficult position, as both women are blackmailing him with their demands. After careful consideration, Carl chooses to side with Elizabeth and falsely denies ever meeting her. Elizabeth steps forward herself and alleges that someone within the school has been using drugs in class. She reveals that she discovered Amy's desk switching tactic in her absence. While the bottom drawer contains the test papers, the top drawer holds narcotics, which Amy remains unaware of. Elizabeth's claims prompt a police search of the school, with officers examining all the desks. When it is Amy's turn, the narcotics are discovered and she is immediately taken into custody. This marks the end of the ongoing conflict between the two women. In the final scene, Scott approaches Elizabeth and asks her how I'm a date, confessing his feelings for her. Surprisingly, she declines his offer, stating that she already has someone in her life who is intelligent, caring, and attractive. Elizabeth then turns to Russell and passionately kisses him, initiating their relationship. She also cancels her breast enlargement surgery, as she is no longer interested in attracting wealthy men. 
The movie concludes with Elizabeth vowing to be a dedicated teacher and help all of her students achieve outstanding academic success.